Yeah, so last year, last summer, my girlfriend and I, Morag, had a lovely baby girl called Alice, which is great. And um, Alice is lovely, although I must admit, I'm kind of hoping for a boy. Not not for the whole traditional farming uh, generation thing, you know, for someone to carry on overdraft, but uh, really just for a bit of male company, you know, because I'm stuck up here with my mum, my girlfriend, uh, my daughter, uh, 400 female sheep, 60 female cows, you know, and six chickens. Even my collie dog, Floss, can be uh, he's a bit of a bitch sometimes, but... Um, you know, which is great, they're all lovely, but I just want some male company. Sometimes even on a Friday night, I'll just go out to the, the bull pen and hang out with the bull. You know, just for a few beers, just for a bit of crack, you know, a bit of male company. Talk about, you know, cars and, and football and stuff. You know, last year I was like, hey bull, <laughs> I just got my girlfriend pregnant. And he's like, just one. <laughs> That's cute. So having a lovely baby daughter has been a, a life changing experience and it's, it's taught me a lot of things but for a start I didn't know we had to go and register the birth of Alice, you know, like what we have to do with the cattle, you know you have to have a, you've got 30 days to register a calf and sometimes you forget about the calf and let it grow on a bit and uh, actually sell it when it's, uh, it's bigger than its age uh, suggests so uh, I was so more I was wanting to get uh, Alice registered there in a hurry and I'm like no no just let her have a few years before we register Alice and then at sports day you know when she's in P1 she'll actually be nine year old she'll have an advantage you know over the other kids because she'll be massive but um, yeah so lambing time's coming up and always a bit of a stressful time, but very rewarding. But uh, now I've got a, a daughter, I'm, uh, I'm not allowed anymore to say we've got a, a dead sheep. Apparently I have to say that sheep's crossed the Rainbow Bridge. <laughs> I hope there's not a toll in it. And finally, fellow farmers, if you're worried or disappointed there's no local shows this year, recreate your own local show by taking your car and parking it in the furthest field of your farm and then putting £100 on a bonfire while meeting your neighbour and discussing the weather. Later on, you'll have an argument with your girlfriend about what time is suitable to come home and then have a sleep under your own fertiliser spreader. That's all you need. Have a great summer.